Hey, hey, welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the US session. Today, again, we'll be going over SP 500, gold, and also oil, giving you guys some levels you're going to be looking for during the London session. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys do like these videos, would love it if you guys go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to ask them here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys uh, for any questions that you guys got. With that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Today is May 20th, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be May 21st, 2021 in London. Again, so let's take a look here at S&P 500 first, then we'll move into gold and oil giving you guys some ideas of what we're going to be looking at so for s p 500 we got a level of resistance sitting up at 4167.75 and then above that 4177.75 we did break some other le levels that we were interested in 4154.75 but we kind of just blew right through that we have another level of support that could actually happen on the way back down if it gets there which is 4135.50 and then below that 4112.00 uh, and 4121 25 so that's going to be our couple areas on the downside but right now we are going to be looking to see the market try to push into this area if we reject it this could be a tight consolidation area that we play around these 5475s to 6775 and if we're looking for anything it's a continuation through the 4167.75 into 4177.75 so that's what we're going to be looking for on the move up in this continuational bull run um, now if we're looking for more of a short opportunity either we're going to look to short these 6775s or you're going to let the price get down up underneath this level of 4154.75 hold that resistance and then continue to move down to 4135.50 and then below that 4121.25 as support and below that 4112 25 as another level of support so that's what we're going to be looking at now for a continued move we got to get past these 4177 75s and continue the move from there if we continue a nice bounce and continuation for the long so that's what we're going to be looking for on s p 500 let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller chart here on s p so as we can see we're trying to climb into that i do think we may end up getting back up to this level but um, if not, we could come back down into this area and try to bounce from here. Could be a good opportunity, so we'll see if the market actually gets back down to that level. Again, we may consolidate between these areas here. So uh, if we do find the support here at 54.75, we are looking for a continued move up. Find that resistance, look for a continued move down at 67.75. Underneath 54.75, again, allow the market to try to pull underneath this level once you can get it under that level you can then look for a continued move down into our next level of 4135.50 and below that 4125.25 so that's going to be our opportunities for s p you want to continue to move up either you're going to take the long from 54.75 or above that got to get on top of 67.75 and then continue to move up from there let's go ahead and take a look at gold here real quickly so again gold still having a nice move to the upside we broke a level of resistance at 1873.7 uh, we were holding for a little bit we finally got on top then we continued to move up to our next level of 79.5 and then from there got on top of that level and continued to move up to our next level of 83 so right now we're still underneath those 79 fives which we want to see if the market can actually get to and if it rejects off this level then we can see the market try to pull right back down into our support at 1873.7 now underneath these 73s get this market to reject this price level and then continue to move down to our next support 1863.5 so a couple good opportunities we could potentially have still going to be patient again i like the short at 79.5 if we hold it i like the long at 73.7 let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller picture for you guys so you guys can see we do have that level that we are currently trying to come towards those 79.5s so we're going to let the market try to get up there there could be a micro level which we see right in this area that could potentially hold up but i'm probably not going to be looking at that area to short i'd rather exhaust somewhere up here and then try to make its move back down to the middle 
and then continued into our support at 73.7. So we'll see if the market actually gives us that opportunity. Above 79.5, look out for that target of 83.4, and then above that, 87.2 and 1890.2. Those are going to be our areas of interest. Uh, again, below this support of 73.7, look for a continued failure and rejection of this level and then a drop lower into 1863.5 that's going to be our next support on gold let's go ahead and move over here to oil give you guys some ideas on oil uh, we did have a couple opportunities to the downside so very nice resistance that we had and we're coming into a level of support now a couple things could happen here we got some resistances overhead 63.12 63.41 uh, and a little bit of resistance above that could even mark this level right here, so I'm going to just mark that off for a bit, but might not act as too much resistance, but we'll see what happens there. But um, right now, we are above a level of support of 62.04. Going to see if the market can actually hold this support and then try to continue back up to our 63.12, 63.41, and then 63.81. Um, as levels of resistance now if we don't hold that support again we could see the market get underneath this area here and then try to retest a level of 6140 and then 6062 as the areas of interest for support so a couple of opportunities that we potentially could have so we are going to kind of stay a little bit patient on all of this and see if the market can give us those opportunities of either support or resistance but right now we are above a level of that support right now 6204 so we do want to see if the market can hold this and then try to get back up again that's going to be a fade trade if you want to continue the trend got to get it to hold this resistance up under this level here 6204 and then try to continue down to our next level 6140 so we'll see what the market actually gives us right now it doesn't seem too strong on the bulls end uh, it does seem a lot stronger as far as the bears are concerned so we may see a continued move to our next support of 6140 um, let's go ahead and move over to a smaller chart here give you guys a little bit of a closer view on this chart here so you can see we're not necessarily holding above kind of chopping between micro level we see right here right at this area 6236 could be an area where we continue to stall if that's going to be the case and we can't get through this area look for this to try to pull down deeper into its next level 6140 that's going to be our area of interest on the downside for support so we'll see if the market gives us that above this area if we can finally get through and look for a continuation of move back up to 6312 then 6341 um, i'd ideally like to see the bounce off these 6204s as you can see we already had one and it's trying to climb and push through but we'll see if the market actually gives us another bounce there and then maybe try a fade trade from there if not I'm either going to look for a continued short at this level, 6236, minor level, or get back underneath these 6204s and then look for a continuational move to the downside from there. So we'll see what actually happens here on oil, but that is it for S&P 500 gold and also oil if you guys do like these videos again please go ahead and smash that like button for those of you who are not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe if you guys have any questions again feel free to pop them in here on youtube we'd love to get back to you guys other than that guys if you guys continue to trade tonight you guys make sure you guys trade well have a great night take care